In today's video, we are going to look at my knitting kit. This goes with me everywhere. I throw it into my knitting bag, whichever project I'm using, and I thought what we would do today is just look at some of the things that I keep in my knitting bag. So let me cut for a minute. I'll get everything put out and laid out so you can see it, and we'll explain some of the stuff, and you will see what is in my mystery bag. So I've got everything laid out here that I typically carry in my knitting kit. And I'll go through some of these things so you can see what they are, why I have them in my kit, how they're used, that kind of thing. So first off, you got to have something to cut your yarn. So I carry a little pair of scissors, not super sharp, but sharp enough to cut through some yarn. I also carry nail clippers because I can cut yarn with that. Also, sometimes because my nails are short, I'll get a little bit of a catch in my fingernail somewhere that catches on the yarn. I can cut that down. I also carry an emery board in my kit just so if I do get a rough place on my finger I can just uh, take it down, sand it down just a little bit so I don't get stuck on my yarn. So I carry that, very handy. I have this little cutter. It has a blade inside so that you can cut your yarn without having a pair of scissors. You can thread this onto a piece of leather or onto a lanyard. Carry that around your neck. Very handy. You can get that on an airplane without any trouble. Very handy. So I have my cutting utensils. Put this back in the bag as I talk about it. Make it easier. So then I carry around these little tubes and inside are my needles that I use at the end of a project to weave in my ends. So I have these big darning needles. They have a great big eye on them so you can thread your yarn through and weave in your ends. I have two of them because sometimes I uh, need, I have a lot of needles and sometimes I need to put one in one knitting bag and one in another knitting bag. So I just keep both of them in my knitting bag as I need them, I pull them out. I also have in one of these this little beading wire that I keep. It's just a thin little wire, almost like dental floss, in case I'm doing something that I need a beading wire to put a bead on. I just keep it in my little case so I know where it's at. So those are very handy to have. This needle was too big to fit into that little tube, but it's a great needle to have. Plastic, super huge eye, so I can put thicker than worsted weight yarn through that eye, so I keep that on hand. Of course, you have to have your measuring tape. When you work in a project and you need to know, I've worked my seven inches of stockinette, I need to be able to know that, so I just have a little uh, tape measure that I got out of a tool kit. It's always handy to have. You can get lighter weight ones, you can get ones that are specific for knitting, you can get the paper or the um, not paper, the plastic as opposed to metal, but just need a tape measure for sure. Also you can use this as a tape measure. It does have a ruler on it so you can measure your um, how far you've worked. This is also a stitch guide. I can hold this little window over my knitting and it, I can count how many stitches per inch when I'm checking my gauge. I can also move it this way and check how many rows per inch so that I can check my gauge. This is also a thing to keep track of obviously your needle sizes so I keep that in my bag and if I pick up a pair of knitting needles and I have no idea what size these are I just start poking them through holes until I find the one that it pokes through. That's a size 3 double point needle. Very handy to have this needle guide and stitch gauge marker. They come in various sizes, but I always have one in my kit. 
Another thing I carry in my kit a lot of times is whatever my current project is, the labels from the yarn, I keep my labels for a while. So if this is a gift that I'm giving to somebody and I need to let them know what the yarn is made out of so that they can properly take care of it, if it's wool, so that they do not wash it in hot water. So I keep the yarn label with the instructions until I no longer need it and then I throw those away. But until then I keep it in my kit. Another thing I keep in my kit is a seam ripper. You wouldn't think you would need this for knitting and you probably don't for the most part. But I've had a couple of projects where I have needed a seam ripper and I can also use this to cut yarn. So I just go ahead and keep it in my knitting kit just in case. You just never know what tools you might just need. Of course, got to have tweezers. Just had my cat jump up here and just slide everything off of my desk. Anyway, you need to have a pair of tweezers. You never know. You might need to pluck your eyebrows. No. You might need to use this on your project, and it's just a great tool to have just in case you need it. Lightweight, I can carry them in my kit. Then I have various assorted cable needles because sometimes I'll use these when I'm doing cable work, but most of the time I use these if I find that I've dropped a stitch along the way. I just grab whatever I can. Sometimes I'll even grab a paper clip. I'll use these to poke through a stitch that has started to run down the fabric just to make the stitch stop running. So I'll hook this into the knitting until I can sit down and fix the mistake. So I'll use these both as cable needles and as a, an emergency in case I have stitches running away from me. So I carry those in my kit. This is a different kind of cable needle, but very handy to have. Keep those with me. Again, I'll use a paper clip, whatever I have available to hurry and stick into a stitch that's trying to run all the way down my knitting. I usually will always have a, at least two, usually, sometimes more, double pointed needles. Again, you just never know when you might need them. It's nice to have if you need them. When I'm working on projects where I will finish one project, have live stitches that I need to hold until I can knit the second piece and then join the two pieces, I use these things to hold my live stitches. It has a uh, spring in between and then a long stick and you can just stretch this and it stretches over and hooks. So I'll put my live stitches onto this. You'll see these look a lot different. Sometimes they look like a big safety pin, but these are great to have in some various sizes depending on how many stitches you have to keep live. So I always have those in my kit. Stitch markers, gotta have them. Gotta have lots of them. I'll show you some of mine. This is a little tin that I got a mouse that had little weights inside that you could use to balance the mouse. So I got rid of the weights. It's a nice size tin that I could use for my stitch markers. So that's what I got in here. All kinds of stitch markers. And surprisingly enough, I lose stitch markers. I don't know what it is, but about every six months or so, I have to go buy another pack of stitch mar markers because I've lost them. These are some of the stitch markers you may need. You need fixed stitch markers that don't have a, a beginning and an end. Those just fit right over your needles to hold onto your needles as you're knitting. Very handy. Then I also use these that have a little, like a paper clip. It has a little break in it. So these I will use to hang on my knitting instead of on the needle. I can use it over the needle. I could use it to slide down and keep track of my stitches or more specifically I would use it to hang on a stitch 
to denote for me this is the front of the work. If it's not obvious which side is the front, I'll always hang a little stitch marker on the front of my work just to remind me. You can get these little safety pin looking stitch markers, very handy to have. My husband, who is amazing, found these stitch markers for me on Etsy. I play World of Warcraft and these are Alliance stitch markers. A little blue for the Alliance. A little storm, storm wind castle. It's not going to mean anything to you guys, but to me those were very special and very meaningful. A friend of mine made stitch markers and gave them out to our knitting group, so I got a bunch of these. You can make your own with some beading supplies. So I always have stitch markers, and then it's very handy to have it in this little tin. Fits in my knitting kit very nicely. Of course, I have to have business cards. You never know who you're going to meet while you are out and about. So I have my knitting, uh, my knitting cards. I always keep a pen in with my knitting bag in case I need to jot down something. I need to remember for later if I meet somebody and I want their phone number or if I want to let them know what time to contact me. It's great to have a pen. Great to have your business cards. You can hear my kitty cats fighting with each other. This is another thing I have in my bag is various and assorted tools in case I start having a stitch that is running away from me and I just need to fix the mistake. I will use different crochet hooks. I don't do much crocheting, but I do have crochet hooks in my kit just in case I need them. This is a dentist tool. This is a little hook from a nifty knitter set, but handy to have just in case I need them. Of course, I have my emery board, which we talked about. I also carry around these little magnets. Why would I need little magnets? In my knitting, I will use this magnetic board to hold my patterns, and it has a big magnet. These are smaller magnets that fit, so I can really keep track of which rows I'm on, which things I'm working on. And these things always want to get away from me, and they'll fall off of here after a while. So I keep the extra ones in my knitting bag, just in case I need them later. And then, I, of course, just like anybody's purse, you have to keep some things in your knitting bag just because you might need them. So I keep some of those handy. So that's what I keep in my knitting bag. This stays with me all the time. It goes in whatever knitting bag I'm currently using for a project. It sits next to me on the couch when I'm knitting on the couch. This is just a pencil kit that I bought at the store when it was back to school specials. So it's wide enough to, ca to carry around my uh, double pointed needles and scissors and things. Very handy to have. So anyway, I hope this has helped you to see some of the tools that I use and need all the time. Let me know in the comments below what kind of things you use in your kit. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for giving me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, again, if you have any comments, leave those below. And I will see you next time. Bye.